Hey everybody, Matthew Larry here. I want to take a second to welcome you to Friday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We're bringing you the message of faith approximately five minutes a day, five days a week. I want to start today's broadcast with this. Would you like God to be more real to you? Would you like your relationship with Him to be stronger than it is right now? Well, these things can happen for anyone who is willing to commit to practicing the presence of God. If you'll practice the presence of God, God will become more real to you and your relationship with Him will get stronger than it's ever been. You know, in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5, it said, God said this, I will never leave you. In Joshua 1, 9, God said this, For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. You know, you never have to pray, God, please be with me. Why? Because God already promised to be with you. And He is with you wherever you go. You know, I think some people think that God lives at church. <laughs> well, God doesn't live at church, and He's not just with you when you're at church. God's with you wherever you go. He's with you on your job. He's with you at home. He's with you when you go to the store. He is with you wherever you go. Where you go, He goes. Not only that, but He is highly interested in everything that concerns you. You know, in Zechariah chapter 2, verse 8, it says this, He that touches you touches the apple of God's eyes, the apple of his eye. In Luke chapter 12, verse 7, it says that even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. In Psalm 115, verse 12, it says this, The Lord has been mindful of us. You know, God thinks about you and me. He's got the number of hairs on your head counted and numbered. You and I are the apple of his eye. We are important to God. He loves us and he is interested in everything that's going on in our lives. You know, some people, I've heard some people say, well, God, he's got too much going on to be concerned about this little thing going on in my life. Friend, you're acting like God is about that big. God is big enough to take care of the big things going on in the world and the small things going on in the world. He's big enough to take care of the small problems, the big problems. He's big enough to, you know, get you a good parking spot at the store and, you know, solve the very intense dark problems going on in the world. God is interested in you and me. He's interested in our lives and he's interested in what's going on in our lives. He cares about everything that concerns you and me. Now, what should be our response to those two truths? To the fact that God is with us wherever he goes and not only wherever we go, and not only that, but he's interested in everything going on in our lives. Well, our response to that should then be to practice God's presence. Act like he's with you wherever you go. Act like he cares about your life and he's interested in what's going on in your life. Talk to him the way you'd talk to your best friend. Involve him in the decisions that you're making. Involve him in the things you're choosing to do. Act like he is with you. Act like he is real. And friend, when you do, this is going to cultivate a closeness with the Lord. This is going to cultivate the reality of him in your life. You know, if you got to pick a restaurant, ask him, Lord, which one should we go to today? You know, if you got a couple, you're at your shopping and you're trying to pick out a suit or a new shirt or a dress or something, ask the Lord, Lord, which one do you think I should get here? Involve him in the small things of life. Involve him in the big things of life. Practice his presence. You might as well because he's going with you anyway. <laughs> and not only is he going with you, he cares about what you're involved in. He cares about what's going on in your life. Friend, it's good news, isn't it? That wherever you go today, God's going with you. So act like he's with you. Talk to him and involve him in everything you do. When you do, you're gonna get closer with the Lord than you've ever been before. As we're closing the broadcast today, I wanna to remind you of these three things. Number one, wherever you go, God is going with you. Number two, God is highly interested in everything that concerns you. You are the apple of his eye. And number three, practice his presence. Talk with him. 
Involve him in everything that you do. And when you do, you'll cultivate your relationship with the Lord and you'll cultivate a closeness with him. Let's pray. Father, Lord, it's our heart's desire to be closer with you and for you to be more real to us in our lives. So we make a decision today that we're gonna practice your presence. And when we do, Lord, we thank you that our relationship with you is gonna get stronger than it's ever been before. In Jesus' name, amen. Friend, thank you so much for watching today's broadcast. Don't forget to come back Monday for our next edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We'll see you then.